David was after his heart. And, and, and that is the reason why, you know, you know, uh, you know, God, you know, um, favored him like that. Favored King David. Why? Because of his heart. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Because none of that other stuff really matters because your delight is in him. Your delight is in God. Your delight is in our father. Your delight, your delight is in Yahuwah. Right now, when your hearts, when your heart starts to fail you, you know, because why your mind, your, your mind, you let your mind wander. You let your mind get the best of you. Now you, 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 you think what you do, you know, and, and the thinking leads to consume, uh, assuming you assume something because you thought wrong. Well, you see where, well, if you would have went to the word or you would have prayed and asked the father what, 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 you know, what was the, you know, what was going on or, or why are you feeling this way or what you should be thinking, you started to take your own way of thinking and think outside of the word. And, and, and then, you know, and then it created in you a heart that was hardened down the road. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's not just one thought. It's not one thought. One thought leads to another thought. Just like that. Just like that. Then another thought leads to another thought. Then another thought leads to another thought. Now you have all of these thoughts in your mind and none of them, and they all contradict what the word says. And now you're doing all this other stuff, creating all of these other problems. You know, now you see, so... You know, so he says, uh, creating, it creates, Psalm, this is Psalm chapter 51, verses 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Create in me a pure heart. 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 You have asked him. This is what you ask. This is what you're praying for. You're, you, you're praying that he creates a new heart inside of you. Yes. That he creates a new heart, a pure heart, a strong heart. Yes, that he creates a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit, a spirit, a spirit that, that, that can't be moved, a spirit that, 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 that's filled with the fruits, not, 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 not the works of the flesh, but the fruits, but the fruits, you want the fruit, you want the fruit of the spirit. So, so when he renews you, when he renews you and gives you a steadfast spirit, he gives right along with you the fruits of it, of course. If he's going to give you, if he's going to renew your spirit and give you a steadfast spirit, he's going to produce in you the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, gladness, kindness, long suffering, peace, you know, and we, we, we have to always be seeking a way to find to find, seek with all of our heart, seek with all of our heart to find Yah and his heart and we will find it because his heart is stronger than our heart. His ways are way more strong and powerful and more potent than our ways. The way he thinks is way more powerful and potent and potent and, and, and way more, you know, extensive than how we could ever think or what we could ever think. He's omniscient. That means he knows all. He knows all things. He knows. He knows the way you think. He knows why you're thinking the way you're thinking. He knows how you're going to feel. So always rely on him 
to guide the way you think so that it can ultimately produce the way you feel. Then once it produces the way you feel, it will produce the decisions you make. And then once it produces the decisions you make, then it produces your actions. And then once it produces your actions, then it produces your character. And then once it produces your character, it produces you a harvest. It produces you a great, wonderful destination. And at the end, your destination wants you, it, it, you, you want your destination to be the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. You want, that's where you want your destination. That is where you want your destination. That's where you want your destination. You want your destination there. Um, and, and, and so if we want our destination to, to, you know, to wind up being the kingdom of heaven, if that's how we, if that's where we truly want our destination, then our ways Right. Our way of thinking, the way we feel, the way we do everything in order lined up with the word. Then if we want if we want if we want the kingdom of heaven, if that's what we want our destination to be, then we ought to be thinking about the kingdom of heaven. We ought to be feeling we ought to be having the king uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven and in, 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 in our emotions. And then we ought to be, then, you know, we ought to be. Um, we ought to be, you know, deciding to do things of the kingdom of heaven. Then we, then, then, you know, then we ought to be acting on the kingdom of heaven. When the Holy Spirit speaks to us, we ought to be acting on that. And then everybody needs to see that our characters line up with the word of God. And so that, that right there is the kingdom of heaven, right? Our, our, our actions, our, our character, right? And then, and then our destination will be the kingdom of heaven. So by the time it's your time to leave, by the time he comes down to get you, you will already be in the kingdom of heaven because of the way you thought. The way you thought. It was the way you were thinking. You were thinking that. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, 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 and, and don't take my word for it. Take his word for it. And I'm going to give you some more. He says, listen. He says, listen. Matthew chapter 6 verses 19. He says, store yourselves up, not for the treasures of earth where moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal. He, he, say, he says, he says, store yourselves up for the treasures of heaven, right? Store yourselves up for the treasures of heaven, right? Where moth and rust do not destroy. And thieves do not break in and steal. They can't break in and steal in the kingdom of heaven if that's where you're storing up. If you're storing up for the kingdom of heaven, that can't nobody break into heaven. If you're storing yourselves up for, 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 for the things of heaven, right? You can't, the moth can't destroy that. If you're storing yourselves up for, for, for heaven, then, you know, you can't, no one can penetrate that. There's nothing that can penetrate your thoughts and the way that you uh, want your, your treasures, your treasures, your treasures are stored up for heaven. All of your treasures, right? Because at the end of the day, for where your treasure is, this is uh, Matthew chapter 6, verses 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. You see how we back to the heart again? Where your treasure, if your treasure is in more money, that's where your heart will be. If your treasure is in is in is in the quest of life, in, in the quest of life, and, and the pleasures of life, and, and 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 more sex, more money, you know, more more uh, opportunities, more more contacts, more connections. You know, for wherever your, your, your treasure is, there your heart will be. So now if your treasure lies in the world, then your heart will be in the world. But now if your treasures lie in heaven, that's where your heart will be. Make sure, though, that your heart is aligned up with the treasures of heaven because that is a place where, guess what? Moth do not uh, destroy, right? Moth and rust do not destroy what's in heaven and thieves cannot break in and steal what's in heaven. Because ultimately, again, heart, the heart check. Remember, this is about your heart. This is about the heart check. 
And I just gave you scriptures on your heart failing you and how if you call out for him and you seek him with all of your heart, then you will find him. All of this stuff has something to do with your heart. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. All of this stuff is all of this is heart. All of this is your heart and because he is stronger than your heart. He already knows that you have some ill thoughts in your heart. He already knows you have an evil intent deep down in your heart because he knows your heart. He knows thoughts in your heart. He knows thoughts that you don't even know. You think you know you, but he knows you better than you know you. You think you know how you feel, but only he really knows how you feel. You see what I mean? So now when there's a heart issue, who should you go to when you have a heart issue? Go to the very one who made your heart. Go to the very one who knows your heart. Go to the very one who constructed your heart. The very one who breathed his breath inside of your body for your heart to even start working. Go to the one who is the ultimate constructor of your heart. This is how we deal with heart issues. We can't deal. Money cannot fix a heart issue because if you have a heart issue, right, if you have hate in your heart, now you'll be a person that hates with money. You see, now your heart will be full of hate and you have money. You see, we, we, we look for external things to rectify internal issues. And this is the reason why we have problems. And this is the reason why we are at a higher risk of what I call in one of my videos, a sevenfold infestation of demons. Why? Because we do not clean that gunk, that junk, that toxicity out of our hearts. And we look for external. We look for carnal. We look for material things to cover up what's on the inside when it, could, it never could. It only, it only masks it. It only masks your heart. But then what will happen eventually is that the stuff and things that you were using to try to cover your heart issue, that stuff will fall away and then you'll have an even deeper heart issue. This is why I say money cannot fix an angry heart. If, you, if you're bitter, you'll be a bitter person with money. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A new relationship, a marriage cannot fix your heart. You'll have, you know, you, you'll have a marriage, but your heart will still be bitter. Your heart will still be full of hate. Your heart will still be full of jealousy. Now you have you a new wife, you know, but you're still jealous of another man's wife. You're still jealous of another man because of his wife. See, you can't even be happy with your own wife, but you thought you getting a wife was going to cover the jealousy that was in your heart. But what it only did was it exacerbated the issue of your heart because you should have fixed your heart first, then you move on. You see, these external things cannot fix an internal problem. External things cannot fix and rectify an internal problem. See, your heart is an internal issue. The way you think is in an internal issue. If you do not fix what's inside, then you can you, you are not ready to handle what's on the outside. 